I know that some people will actually replace toilet paper with a bidet and then using cloth as toilet paper, so like an all organic cotton cloth. Uh, we don't do that here. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena from Wholeness Campaign and today I wanna share with you six non-toxic bathroom swaps that can help make your home safer, cleaner, that can improve air quality, and overall just promote optimal health as opposed to adding to your toxic burden. So let's jump in. My first one is to avoid air fresheners and instead swap out for an essential oil diffuser or some kind of essential oil bathroom spray. Now, people think that the natural options are not as effective and I just wanna say that most of the time, they actually are so much more effective. Essential oils actually work really well at dispersing fragrance that is clean and is not full of chemicals. And honestly guys, some of these air fresheners are so jam-packed full of chemicals they can cause headaches, they can cause these little different symptoms that you may not even be realizing are from these chemicals that you're being sprayed throughout your bathrooms, but they are. And what's sad is that there are so many natural options. You can even exchange this for just lighting match in the bathroom instead of air fresheners. You can buy non-toxic candles. You can get little mini air purifiers. You can get a bathroom ventilation fan. There are so many options that you can have, especially if you have a window, you can just open a window and that's so much easier, so much less toxic. I know that these things, we love them, but recognize that the scent that you think that you like in your head that you think is clean is oftentimes not clean. It's actually very toxic and very harmful to your health. And, and we do have to change our mental associations with what clean really means to be able to make some of these trade-offs. So my second one is water. Now, if you have the ability to put an under the sink filter on what you're using to brush your teeth or wash your hands, I would totally recommend that. Um, underneath the sink filters don't have to be that expensive. To whatever capacity it has to filter is going to be better than straight tap water, um, especially if you're brushing your teeth with it. So that goes for the water on the tap, but it also goes for the water in your shower and in your bath. So I'm gonna link that my favorite shower filter that I've been using for the last couple years that has helped so much with my skin. Um, and also some different bath filter options in the description box below. Water can actually be a huge source of toxicity um, in a bathroom and it's important that what's touching your skin is clean. It's not full of the chemicals that the city puts in and all sorts of things, heavy metals, things that it can pick up along the way. Again, your skin is your largest detox organ and, and I will link my water video above so that you can see what I think about water, how important it is that you have a really high quality water system in your household, especially for drinking, but you can check that out if you're interested. My third swap is going to be cleaning products, and I have talked about this extensively in other videos, so I'll link that cleaning video above where I talk about the home microbiome and how important it is that you're not adding chemicals, but that you're also being aware of other different kinds of microorganisms that live in your air. So if you're interested, check that out. But guys, it is so easy to avoid toxic soaps, toxic products, toxic bleach, toxic sprays. It really is so easy because there are so many different swaps that you can get now and on the market. Honestly, it is not even more expensive now. Um, you can get clean, you know, no fragrance, no chemicals, clean products for your bathroom without spending any more. So I'm gonna kind of go through a few of those things. Again, I love to use things like Branch Basics or um, Dr. Bronner's Diluted in a spray bottle just to spray down mirrors and surfaces, windows, blinds, even my floors. I'll use those on the tile and all along my shower. And even in my toilet bowl, you guys, believe it or not, you don't actually need toilet bowl cleaner. As long as you have some kind of all-purpose spray, um, soap works just as well, which is really interesting um, that people don't realize that. But there is no need for bleach in the bathroom, no need for it. If you have tile like that really needs some cleaning, I would recommend a steam cleaner. Honestly, you guys, those do way better than bleach. It's so much more effective. And again, if I haven't talked about this enough, bleach actually feeds mold growth. So do not use bleach on your grout or your toilets or wherever is the mold because as much as it might 
quote unquote kill mold. It feeds the fungus that actually causes mold to grow even further and um, actually can cause more issues in your bathroom. So um, avoid bleach. But again, if you want something whitening, there are oxy bleach type things. I've never found that they work very well. Baking soda and vinegar really does the trick for me, especially for drains, um, but even for grout as well. Um, and that steam cleaner really just gets things out. So there's always swaps on all these different things. Um, if you are looking for some kind of like toilet scrubber thing that doesn't have crappy soaps all mixed in with it, you actually can just use a pumice stone in place of it and that can really work on porcelain so much better and it's completely natural. Check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. <sighs> okay, I know that was a whirlwind, but my fourth one here is toilet paper. So toilet paper, believe it or not, can be extremely toxic. Um, it is often sprayed with chemicals. It is often bleached, chlorinated. I've heard of formaldehyde being in toilet paper. You guys, there's so many different weird things that happen in the manufacturing process of toilet paper and um, again, I don't want you to stress about this. I know that some people will actually replace toilet paper with a bidet and then using cloth as toilet paper, so like an all organic cotton cloth. Uh, we don't do that here right now um, as much as I would love a bidet. What we do try to do is just make sure that we're buying the best toilet paper that's on the market, even if it is a little bit more expensive. Um, I do. I don't get maybe the most expensive kind. There are kinds that are like um, extremely expensive. Uh, I know of a couple brands that I'll link in the description box that are very clean and they, the companies are really transparent and you can get them delivered to your door on a cycle, on a subscription cycle. So do check those out. Um, but if you're at just like a Whole Foods or any kind of place, just looking for the better option, looking for the one that says like no chlorine, no added white, dye or I don't even know they put so many weird stuff in toilet paper and you are rubbing it all over your private parts so it does matter what's crazy is sometimes these like ultra soft toilet papers are like the worst which is kind of unfortunate um, but they do have some really cool bamboo options out there that are just as soft but they are also way less toxic so it's something to consider number five is shower curtains um, you know, it's this is something that I believe is honestly you trade off, right? So plastic shower curtain does the best at preventing water from getting everywhere. And especially if you have kids, um, that can be really important. And it is really important in preventing mold and not getting all the wood and the trim all completely wet and soaked because that can be another air quality concern. However, it is important to note that anytime you're putting plastic near this really high heat, of a shower, you are going to be off gassing some of whatever is in the plastic. And so, uh, believe it or not, it can be actually a pretty toxic thing. However, you know, plastic ones are the cheaper ones. So, you make the trade off that you think is the best. The trade off that we've decided to make is that we use what's a shower curtain material called Piva. Definitely not the most non toxic, but right now um, it is mold resistant and is a thicker kind of plastic that's has less chemicals, I guess it says something like BPA free or something like that. But if you are wanting to go for cloth and if your space allows for it, um, I would recommend some kind of cotton based lining. And I honestly haven't tried it. If it works um, enough that it's not getting water everywhere, please let me know in the description box below because that would be something I'm gonna switch, but I don't wanna buy it if you know, it ends up kind of just making a mess everywhere. That would probably be the most ideal. I know that there are polyester versions that almost like act like a raincoat, so it is moisture resistant. However, I feel like that kind of still defeats the purpose because polyester does similar things when it's heated up, it, it does still off gas. So again, I'm working on that one too. If you have any better suggestions, let, let me know in the comments. But it's something to be aware of that plastic is an offender. So if you are remodeling your bathroom and you wanna put glass in, that would be a good idea. My sixth one is towels. And um, I put this on here for a couple reasons. There can be toxic materials in towels that you're wiping all over your hands and all over your body and everything. But there can also be toxic dyes and there probably is a lot more things that can be toxic about towels. Um, what they're sprayed with, the companies, how cheap they are, where they're manufactured, all that stuff. 
Um, but if you have the option for organic cotton towels that are made really well and not sprayed with anything with organic dyes, that's going to be the best. Um, if not, just trying to make sure that the towels that you have are a natural material. So making sure that they're cotton, that they're not this like polyester cotton mix. Um, that's going to be the most non-toxic. That's especially if you're wiping it all over your body when you're showering. It's crazy, but some of these dyes can actually, I've had towels that can actually dye my skin the color of the towel in the beginning. And um, that's just going right into the bloodstream. So if you, you know, maybe it's not a completely organic uh, cotton towel, but if you can find ones that are maybe more neutral colored, uh, more natural colored, then you can kind of avoid some of these dyes and, and dyes are, are full of chemicals most of the time. So I'll leave some brands that I trust in the description box below. Again, I want to be transparent here. These are not all things that I completely follow to a T. I do the best that I can with the resources I have and the sanity that I have. And so you have to do the best that you can with, with the information you know and what you have in your tool belt and your capacity. So, but hopefully this can be kind of a little bit of a launching pad into thinking about some of these things and finding options that are healthy um, and maybe moving in the direction of less toxic. Um, because that's really the goal is just moving in a direction that is less toxic um, it's not going to be perfect right off the bat but i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel if you got anything valuable out of it it's my passion to walk alongside people as they heal and grow it inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you thanks for watching